so here is the biggest plot hole in, I think, any Marvel movie I've seen. And it's actually pretty simple. So in the first Doctor Strange movie, we see that the Ancient One can't see past her own death. I've spent so many years peering through time, looking at this exact moment, but I can't see past it. I've prevented countless terrible futures. And after each one, there's always another. And they all lead here, but never further. You think this is where you die? And we also know that Doctor Strange saw 14 million plus different futures to see which one of those would be the one that they could beat Thanos. Back, your own. Hey, what was that? Going forward in time to view alternate futures, to see all the possible outcomes of the coming conflict. How many did you see? 14,605. How many did we win? One. But we also see Doctor Strange himself vanish here. Tony, there was no other way. So the question is, if the Ancient One can't see past her own death, how could Doctor Strange? How could he know that five years after he was vanished, that there would be, is a future where Tony Stark would be crucial to beating Thanos. Now, just to play my own devil's advocate, there's a few ways that this can be resolved. The first is the definition of death. Because in Doctor Strange, uh, the Ancient One dies physically. Her body is basically crushed and over. Whereas in Infinity War, Doctor Strange isn't killed. I've used the word vanished here. And we've also seen in other elements of the vanishing, like with Peter Parker when he comes back, it seems as though no time has passed for him. Hey! Oh. Holy cow! You will not believe what's been going on. Do you remember when we were in space? And I got all dusty, and I must have passed out because I woke up and you were gone, but Doctor Strange was there, right? And he was like, it's been five years, come on, they need us. And then he started doing the yellow sparkly thing that he does all the time. What are you doing? Oh, this is nice. And so, even though five years has passed, he was vanished, he wasn't killed, and he reappeared. And so, it's possible that for Doctor Strange, he experienced that same thing, even when he was looking into those 14 million different futures. There was one, this future, where he vanished, and I'm sure in, you know, 13,999,000, he couldn't see past the vanishing, because there was no unvanishing. But in this one future, or maybe there was a, few hundred, you know, or for a few thousand, wherever, where um, they got the Infinity Stones, they went back in time, got the Infinity Stones from Endgame, and he could see himself being unbanished. And in all of those unbanishing moments, which he was able to see instantly, because no time had passed, it was just like he vanished and then re and then unbanished, he could see that Tony Stark stole the gauntlet, yada, yada, yada. So that is the leap of faith that we have to make. Otherwise, um, it doesn't make any sense. Now, again, because I've sort of solved this, I suppose I can sleep at night, but this one always stuck with me a little bit because it, you know, obviously, so here's, a, you know, something that meets halfway. Let's just say Doctor Strange vanished, but he still had to experience time for five years before being unbanished when he was looking into all those different futures. So when he's levitating and, you know, going through those 14 million futures, was there one of those experiences where he just sat and waited for five years, not knowing, you know, he didn't know that he was going to get unmanaged? That seems highly unlikely. Um, and then, of course, according to him, he saw this one future, so he had to have seen it. So again, vanishing here must be distinct from being killed. Just something to think about, nerd out about, Peace and love to all the underdogs. Like and subscribe.